In this lesson, I'm going to show you how you can complete a very common task and use the brand new text split function in Excel to split data across columns. And this is particularly useful if you have data that contains multiple delimiters. So if that sounds like something that you want to know, then keep watching. Now, splitting data into different columns is a really common task in Excel. Let's take a look at a couple of the methods that most of us are using to do this. So I've got a very simple example here. I have some full names in column B and I simply want to split them across the first name and the last name. So what I could do here is I could type in the first one and then simply use flash fill, control E, control E to quickly split all of the others. Nice and quick and straightforward. Now, another method we could use is we could use text to columns and text to columns has been around in Excel for years and years. So all we need to do is select our list of data, jump up to the data tab and go to the text columns button. Now here we can choose delimited and we can then specify the delimiter in our full names. So the delimiter is what separates the first name from the last name. So in this case, it is a space which helpfully is already selected in this delimiters area at the top. We can see a preview as to what it's going to do. Let's click on next and then we can just choose our destination cell. So I'm going to select C5, click on finish and I've split up those names. Really nice and straightforward. So if we have those two methods, what on earth do we need the new text split function for? Now, one thing to note, first of all, about this function is that it's only available in Excel for Microsoft 365. So if you have an older version, you're probably going to have to wait a little bit more time before you get this function. But let's take a look at how it works and how it can be useful. So if we take a look at our second example, I have some employees here and I need to break these up into these different departments. So I need Lucy to go into sales, Mary to go into marketing and Mark to go into HR. So let's start out really basic and just use the text split function to do this. Now, this is a really simple function. The first thing we need to specify is the text, which we'll find in cell B5. We then need to specify the delimiter. So what separates each of these pieces of text? And it needs to go in quote marks. So separating each, we have a comma space. Close the quote mark, close off text split and hit enter. And we get exactly what we want. Now, if we copy this formula down using the autofill handle, has this worked for all of them? No, it hasn't. As we get a bit further down, we have a bit of a mess happening. And that is because whoever's input these values into these cells has used a semicolon as opposed to a comma. So when we get to the next one, we have Harry and Susie in sales, then we have Claire and we have nothing in HR. Now, the cool thing about the text split function is that you can specify multiple different delimiters. So if we were to do this again, let's type in equals text split. Our text is in cell B5. What is our delimiter? Well, I have two different delimiters in this list. I have the comma and I have the semicolon. And if you want to define more than one delimiter, you need to put this in curly brackets. So now I can define the first delimiter, which is comma space. And then I can define the second delimiter, which is semicolon space. Close off the curly bracket and close off text split. Let's hit enter and copy this down and see if this works. That looks so much better. So text split is great if you have data that has multiple different types of delimiters and you need to split it up. Let's take a look at one final example. Now here I have a slightly different scenario. I have some names, but three of these have a title after them. So if we choose text split, let's select our text. And if I just put that we have a space delimiter separating everything, this is what I'm going to get. Now, it's not too bad, but you can see here that for the last name, we have a comma on the end here, and I don't really want that to show. So we can jump back up to text split and we can edit our formula. So this is going to go in curly brackets again. We're defining our space delimiter, but I also want to define the comma space delimiter. Let's close off our curly bracket, hit enter 
And now when we copy this down, it's got rid of that comma from the last name. Now in the final example, this will help us explore some of the other options that we have with text split. So here you can see I have a list of names and some of these have Mr, Ms and Mrs at the start. Now I don't want to include Mr, Ms or Mrs, I just want the first and the last name. So if I do text split, and if I just do a regular text split, let's select the cell, our delimiter is a space, and hit enter, you can see what I'm going to get. It's going to include that Mr, Ms and Mrs, and it's going to throw everything off. So we need to do something a little bit different just here. So let's type in equals text split again, select the text, and what we can do is define Mr, Ms and Mrs as a delimiter itself. So curly bracket, let's define our space first of all, then we're going to define Mr, Ms, and then finally Mrs. Close the curly bracket, close off text split, and hit enter. Now if I copy this down, again it's still not quite right. Now it's removed the Mr, the Ms and the Mrs, but I have these blank spaces in here which are kind of shifting everything along. So what we can do is if we jump back up to our text split formula, notice that we have some other options just here. Now we can skip over row delimiter and move straight on to ignore empty. So what I want to say here is that I want to ignore empty cells. Let's hit enter and this time when we copy this down, we get exactly the result we're looking for. So those are a few examples of how you can use the brand new text split function to split text across columns when you have different types of delimiter. If you enjoyed this video, you know what to do. Smash that like button, give me a little thumbs up, give me a cheeky follow if you feel like it, and I will see you in the next video.